super great news. Utterim is now available on the WordPress repository. A lot of us are used to hitting login or hitting get started and registering and then adding in your URL and start assessing your website. But did you now know that you can go to the WordPress repository? On your website, add plugins. Let's type in Atterim. Da, 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 da. There it is, and now we can install it and activate. First thing you'll see is a screen to log in. Now, if you've already got one, just go in, start using it. But if you have never used Atrium before, you can now register. But here's the beauty. You can now sign up with Google as well. This is super cool. No matter how you sign up, you can now activate and add this website to your Atrium dashboard. This is where you want to be connecting your main collaborator or your client. So when you add tasks on there, you want them to be notified. Maybe you've completed it, it's in review, or you've got a question to ask about it. So go and pop their details in. But if your client has got a WordPress account, then you can assign that as well. Once you've added in the details, click create an account. But what if you don't want to do that and you just want to allow guest mode? So if I remove the details and enable that, that means that people can like, if I share the link with them, they can go in and start to leave comments. That is okay if you are going to share it with a limited number of people so you know who's accessing it. Now you get to decide what is your role. Are you the website owner? So go and pick that. Or are you the webmaster? See, so the client is the owner, but you're the one looking after the website. Or are you just somebody else? Now we can get started. But here's something you probably did not realize. Atterim isn't just on the front end of your website, it's on your back end as well. So if I'm working with someone, I could leave any number of comments down here. What if, for example, someone has gone and changed the color scheme of your dashboard and you hate it? I'm going to go and leave a comment over it. I'm going to hit the plus sign here, right in the bottom down there, and I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to just click over here and leave a comment. And depending on who I've added onto here to collaborate or as a client, I can tick the box so that they are notified about it. I can decide on the priority of this. Let's put this as a high. I can decide if this is in progress or does it need, is it in, you know, pending or is it complete? I can even take a screenshot as well. And there you go. You can see the number one for the task. And if you want to see more than just the plus sign in the bottom there, click the Atrium logo. You'll now have a bottom bar appear and you have loads more options. You can A, leave a comment on this particular page or any page of your website. You can also hit general, so it might not be restricted to just one page. It might be just for the whole website that you want to leave a comment. And you can also hit tasks. And this is going to bring through over a summary of your tasks. And you can go in, leave a comment, or say it's complete, or anything like that. You can even change the visibility of what you see. So do you want to see the completed tasks or not? But here's a really cool bit, the agency. Now, when you click that, that's going to take you back over to your Atrium dashboard. And the website you just added will now be visible over here. And of course, you have access to loads more options. Now, on the left-hand side in WordPress, if you are the webmaster, you'll be able to see more settings and options for you to to fine tune how this appears. If you are a client, you will not have access to these. So just bear that in mind. Task Center gives us a summary of the tasks and you have filter options. And remember what we did earlier? We got the screenshot there as we move between the tasks. Isn't this really good in how you can keep everything all within your website? Let's go over to the settings. Now, if you're managing multiple websites, you might want to enable global settings. So if whatever settings you apply here will now be applied to every website. However, if you want to have a bespoke setting per website, you want to leave that disabled. If you want to change where that plus sign and the Atrium logo was, where it was in the bottom right, and you now want it to be on the right hand side of your screen, go and enable the compact mode and it will then appear over here. You can white label Atrium as well, but you will need to upgrade for that. And when there are notifications, notifications, where do you want them to go? And not only that, you can even make this really unique in what notifications you get as well. There are more settings on the permissions tab, like you can decide if you're going to enable guest mode, so people just have to have the link to get into and they can start leaving comments. And when you scroll down, you can start to decide what the different roles can do. Now this is all brilliant, but I actually want to leave comments on my actual website. I can jump over to any page I want and the website will take me there or I can start to leave comments. Let's hit the plus sign. I'm gonna click over here and I can now leave a comment to say, let's change the font size or the text or the wording. This is the best website collaboration tool I've ever experienced. Arterim is available for free in the WordPress repository. You gotta use it. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. The grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it, life. I 
I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.